everyone. Happy Tuesday. Oh my God. I have been so busy this morning. I was up early, early, early. I picked all my linens for my holiday meals, threw them into the washer and then into the dryer. And now as you can see, I am ironing everything. I like to get that done um, a few days ahead of my cooking days because I really don't like to have to think about ironing when I have to watch things that are on the stove. And then, once I got everything into the washing machine, I sat down and I finalized my holiday menus and went right off to the pantry to double check that I didn't have anything on my shopping list that I really didn't need to buy. You know, a money saving tip is just double check your pantry and double check your decorations to see what you have at home. You don't need to buy expensive herbs and spices or expensive ingredients if you already have them in the house. So just take a couple of minutes and double check, make sure that you have things and double check that little shopping list. You know, when I was having my cup of coffee and I was thinking about our holiday menu, I realized that every year I make Swedish cardamom bread because it is my daughter's absolute favorite. I use my grandmother's recipe, she made it for us when we were little kids, and I've been treating Maria to that for, well, since she was about two years old. And it is an absolute must-have for the holidays. It wouldn't be Christmas if mom didn't make my grandmother's Swedish cardamom bread. And it got me thinking about you and your families and your holiday dishes. You know, what is that must-have that absolutely your family says, oh my God, it would not be Christmas, it wouldn't be Hanukkah, it wouldn't be Kwanzaa if you didn't have this particular dish. I'd love to know what those are. You know, some people like oysters for New Year's. Not me so much, I'm not really a big oyster person. But for us, New Year's is champagne and a little pâté de foie gras. That's my treat. I want to know what all of you treat yourselves to during the holidays. What is that special dish that it would not be Christmas or it wouldn't be Hanukkah if you left off the menu? I can't wait to hear what you all have to say and I will see you back here tomorrow when we spotlight a member of this fantastic community.